Birmingham enter the weekend's fixture on the back of two straight defeats at home to Leeds and Wigan. Five of the last seven overall have been defeats and having won just three times since the end of November. That's just three victories in 20 matches in all competitions and encompasses just two during the reign of Gianfranco Zola, who inherited the job from Gary Rowett back in mid-December. They did, however, win their last game on the road, a 2-1 derby victory over Wolves, all whilst playing the majority of the second half with just 10 men following Paul Robinson's dismissal, a red card that has since been rescinded on appeal. Injury has limited the former Burnley striker Lukas Jukovic to just two appearances off the bench in the recent defeats at the hands of Leeds and Wigan, whilst he also missed the two games prior to that altogether. And that couldn't have come at a more inconvenient time for either player or club, as he was in the midst of both his finest goalscoring season in English football and one of the richest veins of form in his career period. His goal against Fulham in the opening fixture of February marked his sixth strike in 11 games and moved him on to 11 for the season in all competitions also, past the 10 he netted at Borough back in 12-13 and just one shy of his previous best single season tally of 12 which he achieved on loan at Motherwell back in 09-10. A Birmingham fan born and bred, Craig Gardner rejoined the club, his second spell in blue, at the tail end of the January transfer window and on loan from nearby West Bromwich Albion. His previous stint at St Andrews lasted just the one season and ended with a big money move to Sunderland which retained his top flight status if not the Midland clubs. Like his younger brother Gary, he's actually a product of the academy setup at bitter rivals Aston Villa and spent the first four years of his professional career there prior to making the bold cross city switch to St Andrews. He's missed just the one championship game since rejoining the club and that was through suspension after being red carded in the recent game versus Preston. Former Manchester United keeper Thomas Kushak has been the man in the nets for much of the season, missing a period of September and October through injury with Adam Legzins deputising. Yet the Polish international has proved himself first choice when available, which has been for 74% of the league outings. The two cities played out a nil-nil draw at St Andrews in the season's kick-off in the most recent meeting between the two clubs. And ironically, the last meeting between the two clubs on Welsh soil was the final game of last season, a one-all draw with Anthony Pilkington netting for the Bluebirds, meaning that the two clubs essentially played back-to-back -back championship fixtures, albeit separated by a summer break. Cardiff are actually four home matches unbeaten over Birmingham, the last defeat arriving in Indian Park back in September 2008. With Birmingham moving to a back three of late to be able to utilise the natural attacking intent of the two starting fullbacks, they've deployed the shape in a very conservative 3 5 1 1 fashion, with Craig Gardner employed as the most advanced of the midfield options and charged with providing the main support to the central striker. With the club training Wigan at half time in midweek, Zola instead switched to a 4 4 2 and withdrew Danish midfielder Mikkel Kiftenbelt for a second striker and dropped Gardner back into a more natural middle of the park role. Struggling for wins and goals and the need to inject an extra attacking option into proceedings, that could see a similar choice from the start on Saturday's fixture, with Gardner perhaps employed in a central position and Luka Zhukovic coming back into the starting fold alongside Jay Adams.